All right, everybody. Uh, this is Pat Dennis with Eureka, and today I'm going to go through a little bit of a tutorial on how we can use um, the Salesforce platform, we can use Eureka and Conga Composer all together to produce some pretty customized PDFs of Eureka forms after those forms are completed in the field. So really quick, for those of you who do not know uh, who we are, we Eureka is a Salesforce native forms, assessments, inspections, surveys application that enables mobile workforces to do their jobs better. So when you think about somebody who needs to go out into the field um, to collect some information, to follow a procedure, to do an assessment, uh, whatever that, that process might look like, uh, they can go out to the field and they can use the Eureka mobile application to fill out a form, uh, be guided through a process, all the while all the information is going to get synced back to Salesforce. Uh, and in the event that they're offline, which in most cases, um, mobile workforces oftentimes lose connectivity, uh, the Eureka mobile app works just the same. So they can go offline, collect all their information, uh, and then when they return back to connectivity, uh, we'll send it back up to Salesforce. Um, so let's talk about the use case today. Um, for today's tutorial and demonstration, uh, I'm gonna pretend as though I work for a company called Darnit Insurance. Uh, we got their logo up there in the right hand corner. Um, and, and the story is this, Darnit Insurance Group, they process claims from customers um, whose cars have been damaged. And in this case, their cars have been broken into by, uh, by grizzly bears or brown bears specifically. So quite a niche market that they serve. Um, and then when a claim comes in, a case is created in Service Cloud. So Darnit Insurance is already a Service Cloud customer today. Uh, when the case is created, a field rep then needs to go out and they need to assess the damage to the car. So they need to look at the car, they need to figure out uh, to what degree the car has been damaged so that the claim can be uh, pro processed properly. And then finally, when the damage assessment is complete, they'll close out the case, but they also want to make sure that they send a summarized report of the damage assessment to the customer in, uh, in a neat service report via email. So that's actually the biggest piece that we're going to be showing today is we'll be using um, a, a series of products to make this work. So obviously we'll be using Eureka to go out to the field and collect the information. We'll obviously be using Salesforce uh, as the platform that houses all this technology. And then finally, we'll add a new product into the mix here, uh, which would be Conga Composer. And Conga Composer uh, allows you to basically generate documents uh, right on the Salesforce platform in this case. So uh, when it comes to that final requirement of creating a customized PDF, uh, a little report that shows the customer uh, what the damage assessment looked like as our field rep filled it out, uh, Conga Composer will do the, the PDF generation for us. Now, I, just as a little side note, I will say that Eureka does have its own PDF generation uh, abilities, but Conga Composers are much more flexible uh, and much more customized and powerful. So. Um, to the extent that a customer like Darnet Insurance would need a, a PDF that maybe automatically gets sent out via email uh, that is extremely customized, um, we'll use Conga Composer to do that. So here's the demo flow today. We'll start on a case, then we'll fill out a damage assessment on the Eureka mobile app. Uh, we'll submit that damage assessment, and then we'll come back to the case directory. We'll see how it's been updated. And then finally, we'll actually send the summary to the customer, and that's where the Conga piece will come in. And then afterwards, I'm going to take just a few minutes and demonstrate how the whole thing was built. Um, I will say that we have a full knowledge base article that uh, describes the step-by-step -step instructions on how I built what you're about to see. So to the degree that you're interested, you can go to our, the Eureka knowledge base and you can find out uh, how we did it there. So let me flip over to um, my demo environment here and we'll get started. So first of all, let's begin with the end in mind here. I'm gonna pull up a PDF that uh, Darnit Insurance sent to us um, that is an example of what their final PDFs should look like. So this is the assessment that they're hoping to send to their customers after, um, after it's complete. So you can see here, we've got some basic customer information at the top. We've got you know, some information that was collected about the front of the vehicle as, if, as it was damaged, um, some information about the rear of the vehicle. So you can kind of see here, we're breaking up the form um, into many different pieces, 
quite, kind of a nice little PDF we've got here. And then there's also going to be some photos attached too. So if this car was damaged because a bear broke into it, uh, we want to capture photos that show that. So we'll have the photos at the end of our at the end of our PDF here. So uh, I'm going to pull this aside. So again, that's kind of beginning with the end in mind here with, uh, with what our PDF should look like. But let's start with our case, right? So let's say that somebody submitted a case, um, and so now we need to process this. We've got our little process bar at the top here. The customer support representative has uh, moved the status to in progress, and now we actually need a field rep to go out and do the damage assessment. So I'm going to open up the Eureka mobile app here and we will fill out the damage assessment there. So on the mobile app you can see I've just got a list of cases that have been assigned to me uh, as the field rep. So I can see I've got two cases I got to go work through today. One is for a guy named Edward Stamos and another is for a guy named Dan Jones. So uh, we'll click into the Edward Stamos case first and we'll start to fill out our form. Now right away I actually don't have any forms yet, but I'll create a new one by clicking this little green button in the bottom. And there I can click New Vehicle Damage Assessment. And what this is going to do is it's going to open up a form. Uh, technically speaking, it's going to create a form record. And from here I can just fill out the full assessment. So pretend that we're arriving now, we're, we're getting to the point, we're shaking hands with our customer, um, and they're showing us to their vehicle that has just been absolutely destroyed by a bear. So um, we can see some basic information has been pre-populated here from the case. So uh, we can see the subject, the description. This gives our field um, rep some, some high level context about what they're walking into here. So a bear broke into my car, it broke into my car, and I'm hoping to file an insurance claim with darn it. We can also see the make and model and the year of the car, as well as maybe the VIN number. This could have been submitted by um, by the customer or maybe we collect this now but in any case we'll have those data points there and then we'll go through a, just a basic form here that allows us to capture some of this information so the first thing is is there noticeable damage on the on the hood of the vehicle we'll say the answer is yes is there damage to the headlights yes is there damage to the front bumper yes and a bear definitely broke into this vehicle and finally we might add some other notes to say that the front of this car is absolutely destroyed. Next, maybe you want to grab some photos of the front of the vehicle. And so I have some samples here. And just to keep things fun, I'm actually going to pretend as though the bear is still in the car. So we got a photo of a bear in a car here that we'll capture. For any of these photos, we can click in, we can mark it up here, we can say, you know, there's the bear. And then move on with our form. So here we'll say, you know, as we walk around to the back of the vehicle, uh, the, the rear bumper's damaged, the rear windows are damaged. Um, and then we'll say, is it obvious that a bear broke into this vehicle? Yes. Obviously a little, little facetious here with our questions, but uh, we'll capture another question here. Looks like the bear's hopping out. Or capture another photo here, rather. Left side of the vehicle, we'll say that both doors were affected, both windows were affected. Grab another photo. <clears throat> Looks like the bear definitely had his day here. And then uh, the right side of the vehicle. We'll say that there's two windows and two doors there. One final photo. There we go. All right, so we've gone through, we kind of captured a lot of photos, indicated. Um, how much damage has been done. We'll say that there's approximately $5,000 worth of damage here. And uh, we'll say that probably the bear was probably sorry. And then the final comments are, uh, my process is complete. The bear definitely destroyed the car. All right, so we're done here we can click submit. And what this is gonna do is if we're online, it will submit all the information back to Salesforce. If we're offline, it will just store that information locally on the device until we go back online. Uh, but in this case, because we had internet connectivity, well, all I could do, or all, we, all I need to do here is just refresh my page in, this, in the desktop experience. And what we'll notice is a few things on our case have changed. So the first thing is that we can see that a form now exists in that forms related list. So we created that form record 
And then also it looks like our case status changed from in progress to field visit complete. Maybe we got a little process builder flow or trigger in there to make that change happen. Um, for the form itself, we can click in and obviously we can see all of the information that was collected on the mobile device. So we can see the basic case information, the front of the vehicle, the rear of the vehicle, as well as all the photos, right, that were captured on the mobile app. So all the data is now here in Salesforce, but the next part of this process is that we want to close out this claim. So maybe at this point, um, there's an approval process, maybe we need to calculate um, some, some other claim information, but the point is, is when we get to the end, we wanna close this case out and send it to the customer. So I'm gonna move the status to sent to customer here. And then I'm going to click on this little button here uh, that says vehicle damage assessment. And this is where the Conga Composer technology comes into play. So when we click on this, what's gonna happen is I'm taken to a page that loads up the Conga uh, solution, which I'll describe more in more detail here in a moment. Um, and what this is going to do is it's just going to it's going to grab all the information from our form, from our case. It'll get all the photos, and then what's great about it is it'll just automatically send the email too to the customer. And there's a lot of different ways that you can configure Conga uh, to work, and we won't go into we're touching the tip of the iceberg here truly, um, but. If, we, if the customer then jumps over into their email inbox, we can actually see that a brand new email has been sent from Pat Dennis at Darnet Insurance. It says, hello, Edward, please see the attached vehicle damage assessment that we just completed for you. Within the document, you'll see all the necessary information for completing your claim. And up top, you can see we're actually attaching a document that can be opened up. Now, when we open up the document, this is the PDF that was just attached. So if you remember, we showed an example of this at the beginning, but this one is actually the one that we filled out a minute ago on the Eureka mobile application. So we've got a basic message here. We've got Edward's basic information up here. And then the answers to the questions that I just typed in on the mobile app are now made available right here in this final PDF. So the, a bear definitely broke into this vehicle. The front car is the front of this car is absolutely destroyed, right? So we've got the left side of the vehicle, the right side of the vehicle, um, and even our final summary. And then the photos that were captured while we were on site, including the photo markup, which you can see here, right? So we're highlighting all the different things that were going on with that car. Uh, in these images. So this is going to give the customer of Darnit a really great report that they can use as proof that the damage assessment took place um, so that when it comes time for them to finish filing their claim, uh, everybody has all the right information that they need. So that's what the solution can look like. Um, what I'd like to do now is take a few minutes and talk about how we made this. <clears throat> and I think it all starts with, um, with process. So when we begin here, we set up our cases to basically receive um, inbound claims that might be coming from our customers. So when you think about your service cloud setup, that means you're setting up email to case, that means you're setting up maybe a web form um, that will collect this information. And once that information is set up there, then we'll make sure that we have a Eureka form that has been built that can actually facilitate the damage assessment. So you saw an example of that on my mobile device. And we have plenty of resources on our website that shows you how to build out Eureka forms that can connect to cases. Um, but then the last piece of this really was about the Conga technology. So when it comes time to build out a Conga Composer solution, um, we installed Conga Composer into our Salesforce environment um, and we utilize some of the quick start features that they um, have when you install the package into Salesforce to build out our solution. 
And ultimately, and for those of you that don't have any experience with conga, you'll probably need to spend a little bit more time getting familiar with this stuff. But these conga solutions are really what's driving that PDF generation. So we have a button on our case which will drive the actual PDF to be generated and delivered to the customer. And within it, we are querying lots of different data points, particularly from the form and the answers underneath the form. We're using a document called a, a conga template that understands how to receive the queried information from Salesforce. So as you can see here, these documents that we set up uh, know what the queries are gonna look like as the conga solution fires. And then finally, we're, we built like a, you know, a conga email template that uh, is exactly what we received uh, as soon as we click that button. And then we customize the solution a little bit further. So as you kind of go through the PDF generation process, uh, Conga is responsible for querying that kind of data and placing it on the, on the PDF and then sending it out to the customer. So that's a little bit about how the underlying technology here works. But at the end of the day, what's great about this is that um, customers don't need, or excuse me, customer service reps don't need to know anything about how it works. They just need the button on their case that will deliver the PDF, which is exactly what we have here. So that's just a quick demonstration of what it looks like to use um, Conga Composer along with Eureka and Salesforce Service Cloud to generate complex custom PDFs and deliver those customer uh, deliver those reports those PDFs to customers after the forms have actually been filled out. So if you have any more questions about this, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, you can also learn a ton about how Eureka works and how some of these solutions are put together by visiting the Eureka knowledge base on our website. We also have plenty of other YouTube videos showing you how Eureka is capable of doing many other things. Um, and then obviously for this particular solution, like I said before, we have created a very thorough article on our knowledge base that takes you step by step on how to build what I just showed you today. So thanks for watching.